Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get the perfect picking hand position, whether that's your right or left hand, for fingerstyle guitar in 10 seconds or less guaranteed. A lot of people when they start out finger picking guitar have their hand in the wrong position and it really just makes everything from that point on very difficult to do. Your playing won't be very fluent, your hand will get tired, you'll have excess tension, all sorts of things that affects your tone, all this stuff. It's a really, really important fundamental part to get right first, then it makes everything else easier. And today I'm going to show you a really, really simple way that will absolutely guarantee you have your hand in the right position every time you go to finger pick guitar. Having your hand in the correct position just makes life so much easier as a finger picker. Um, you'll be able to play more fluently, you'll play faster, you'll play without tiring, you'll have more endurance because you won't have this excess tension in your playing which affects everything and your tone will be a whole lot better because your fingers will be plucking the strings from the correct angle because your hands in the correct position. I'll also show you how to maintain this, how to train it so that you automatically go to this position every time you pick up your guitar to finger pick. So let's get to it. So here is what you do. You're going to take your thumb, your index, your middle and your ring fingers and you're going to place them all on the third string of your guitar side by side so thumb first then index middle ring fingers okay hopefully you can you can see that thumb index middle ring side by side all on the same string and when you look down you see your thumb is in front of your three fingers that's a really important part of this technique to get your hand in the right position so your thumbs in front of the three fingers they're all on the third string then you simply take your thumb and you place it on the bottom string you leave your index finger on the third string you put your second finger on the second string your middle finger on the second string and your ring finger touches or rests on the top string once you've done that done your hands in the right position to finger pick guitar. I should make the point that we're not gripping the strings and you know, we're just very lightly, we're, we're just really resting the, the fingers and the thumb on the string, okay? So let's just go through that one more time. You can see how quick and how easy it is. You just get your thumb, index, middle and ring fingers. You put them all on the third string of the guitar, side by side, and in order to be able to get them all on the same string at the same time, it forces you to put the thumb in front of the three fingers. A lot of the time, people finger pick and they have the thumb behind the fingers, like this. You can see that, right? And the fingers are out in front, and the fingers are plucking at, you know, 35, 45 degree angles to the strings, and we just don't get a good sound like that, and it's 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 no good. To combat that, we simply, as we have done, put the thumb and three fingers on the third string, so the thumb's in front, then we simply take the thumb, put it on the bottom string, index stays on the third string, resting lightly, the third finger, is, uh, sorry, the middle finger is on the second string, and your ring finger, your third finger, is on the top string. And when you look down from your viewpoint, you can see that your index finger and the thumb make a little bit of an X, okay? They cross over from your viewpoint. So you can clearly see the thumbs in front of the fingers. That is the perfect finger picking hand position for finger picking guitar. Even though it's taken me a little longer to explain it to you, it shouldn't take you any longer than 10 seconds. Fingers on, assign fingers to the strings, keep the first where it is, and, and you're done, okay? So that's the perfect finger picking hand position in 10 seconds. Now some finer points here, just to cover all bases. What about the pinky? Do we rest the pinky on the body of the guitar or don't we? That's the age old question amongst finger pickers. Some say yes, some say no. In my opinion, you can have a floating pinky and not have it on the body of the guitar, or you can have it lightly on the body of the guitar as a little bit of stability. But there's a caveat here, right? A lot of the time people put their pinky on the body of the guitar, they anchor it down and, and basically the pinky limits the movement of the fingers. It's kind of a situation of the tail wagging the dog. The pinky is dictating how your fingers are going. There's a big difference between putting it down and gripping onto the guitar and pushing in as you play and having it stuck in one position versus resting very lightly on the body of the guitar and being flexible, being able to move if your hand's going to move, you know, along the lengths of the string here for whatever reason. In relation to our um, technique here or our position, we do all the, you know, the 
points of the little work out there to get our hand in position. And then you can either just leave the pinky floating or it can just lightly brush against the body of the guitar as a little point of contact for stability. Now, I appreciate that sometimes, particularly let's say if you're Travis picking with a thumb pick, you're going to need to put your hand on a slightly different angle because you need to put the palm on the bottom of the on the lower strings to thumb you like so but i'd be using a, a thumb pick that puts my fingers at a slightly different angle to the string it's kind of like here's the position we've been working with now we collapse the hand a little bit so that the palm of the hand can mute the bottom strings so horses for courses i will play like that when i'm travis picking um, it's still different to just having the fingers right out in front of the thumb and all this tension and so forth so there's of course slight differences to your hand position depending on what you're doing with your finger picking but a great starting point and one that you'll go back to very very often is achieved by just simply the th you know the fingers and the thumb on the third string spanning them out pinky resting or not depends on what you want to do of course as just said and then going about finger picking now in terms of training this into your plane because it's all well and good to do that and go okay great and then go off and do what you do if you don't keep coming back to this little workout which takes 10 seconds or less you'll revert back to however you were finger picking before so what you need to do is every time you go to finger pick when you sit down to finger pick just take that 10 seconds get your hand into position lightly gripping the string very lightly and then go about playing and then perhaps a few minutes later just adjust and do again because you're going to find that it will take some time to get into your plane if you're used to having your hand in some other position it's going to take time to train it into the right position so you need to do this regularly i'd say if you're sitting down and finger picking for 10 or 15 minutes you might revert back and go through the the exercise you know three, four times. And if you do that and you keep doing that, you'll have to do it less and less and less because your hand will start to get the idea of where you want it to go. You just got to keep showing it, keep showing it, keep showing it, um, you know, train it. And before long, that will be what will feel normal to you. If you would like help with your finger picking, the kind of help that gets you results in the most direct, efficient, fun way possible, then check out the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar Course, a complete system for finger picking acoustic guitar, so simple even a beginner can learn it. I've carefully designed this course to do all the heavy lifting for you as far as knowing exactly what to do, how to do it and when to do it in regard to mastering the art of finger picking guitar. All you have to do is follow the pathway I've laid out for you. In the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar Course, you will learn and master all the key concepts, methods, strategies, and techniques needed for finger picking. So you'll never put your guitar down in frustration again, thinking, how the hell do I do this? You will also discover the exact order in which to do things, avoiding the all too common mistakes most people make when learning to finger pick guitar, saving you precious time and frustration. Have your hand held every step of the way with the ultimate finger picking guitar course. It will take you from wherever you are at right now with your finger picking to where you would like to be. Enjoying every part of the process along the way. So click the link in the description below the video and check out the ultimate finger picking guitar course. Let me know in the comments what acoustic guitar topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos. I'd love to hear from you. Don't be shy. Drop us a line in the comments section. I read the comments. I will reply to any topics that you'd like to see me cover and put them on the list. If you like this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the video if you haven't already. And of course, hit the notification bell button. That way YouTube will tell you when I've released a new video. My analytics at last look told me somewhere around about 70 or 80% of people who watch my videos regularly are not subscribed. You might think you are because you see my videos pop up in your feed a lot. That happens when you've seen previous videos, but that doesn't mean you're subscribed necessarily. So if you like the channel and you like the videos, then I'd appreciate the subscription and I thank you very much in advance. I also thank you for being here today and checking out this video. I always appreciate people taking the time to check out my videos. I hope you got a lot from it and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.